The Chicago Youth and Music Festival is our biennial celebration of young people making music. The 2013 festival brings together Chicago area high school students, members of our Civic Orchestra of Chicago, and our international guest ensemble, YOA Orchestra of the Americas, in performances and rehearsals and workshops. This festival is about three important components, mentorship, accessibility, and cross-cultural exchange. It's my first time in the United States, and when I was arriving to Chicago, I was nervous, but really so excited, because you can to share with people of another countries, and other cultures, your love for the music, and to play together in the orchestra, so that is great. Quartet met for the first time, which is always an exciting adventure to be playing with some new people that you've never met. I bring from Colombia some folk songs, and really we have a lot of fun this morning. To me, it's amazing. You can play a melody, and somebody who you don't speak their same language, or, or they're not good at communicating with words, you're able to connect with them on a level that you can't get with words. <laughs> Okay. Well, the students were fantastic. Just within like two or three minutes, the level of the group had gone up tremendously. I feel like I, in a little way, I passed on some of our secrets to the uh, younger generation there. Right, we have to do that. So you breathe, breathe, and the bow stays there, and wait, pat it out. It's nice for me to see children who are looking at you and trying to find an answer. My teacher helped me, and I'm just trying to do the same. Each of us is actually on a stand with a civic orchestra member, and it's their job basically to mentor us and help us along with this process and teach us what they can. When I was younger, I always felt scared and like, how can I accomplish whatever on my instrument. It's just so nice to sit down with another person, especially someone that's a little bit younger, and help them see that it is possible, so it's not so scary anymore. Fortissimo, very, very strong, but very, very, very expressive as well. The full choral, pom, pom, pim, pom, pom. It's a big embrace. Music. Performing for me is kind of the thing that I love to do most, but I also want to be able to teach so to be able to be mentored by the members of the Chicago Symphony and by their visiting conductors. And then to be able to turn around and pass all that information on to my mentees. This is it, this, I'm like, I made it. Even if I don't, you know, ever get to play in the Symphony Center again. Very nice, I mean, beautiful. Today we're visiting music schools and getting a chance to play and meet with young students. Like and spider, you know? 
Yes. But relax. You can. Soft. Yes. actually feel like we are serving our community by doing this and we are helping them being better better people for the future. I loved it. As a musician, what's my obligation to the world around me? What does it really mean to be a citizen musician? It's really not just about the concert hall, it's really about our whole society. It's not about you know, the flawlessness of your technique. It's about your power in communicating. What are we giving to the people that we're performing for, the communities that we're working with, beyond um, simply a great performance? I used to go to church, to a Catholic church, in a very poor neighborhood. Then I would see a lot of kids in the streets. It's like, there's a lot of kids that need to do something. So I started a little choir. I take lessons in Guatemala, violin, but there's no orchestra, there's no, nothing. So we, we say, okay, we can make an orchestra. What we have, we have just two violins and one cello. But we say, okay, we can do it. You don't really necessarily need to follow the scholarship to conservatory, to job in a symphony and teaching on the side. You can look for any opportunity to share music. Are you excited? Can we make some music? Yeah. Mess up royally, but play with spirit. When I'm working with these young musicians, I don't have a different strategy than when I'm working with another orchestra. I am not only asking them to play the note, but to really try to understand what's behind the notes. This is happy music. Feel the music in your face and in your body. Smile. It reminded me that, you know, we sometimes forget to have fun when we're playing and to really be able to show that. We were all just there to have fun and play some good music together. It was a really good experience. There were so many people from so many different backgrounds. I really enjoyed that. It's amazing. I mean, it's just like the best experience anyone could ever get, and especially for me, like, I just love music and, and everything that has to do with violin. It's just my life and my love, and so I really appreciate being here. A lot of the people from YOA have really opened up my eyes to a whole new way of thinking that isn't so centered upon what happens on the stage. It has a lot to do with interacting with the audience, both through the music and with no music. They're actually talking to them. I mean, it, sound, it sounds so simple, but it's such a huge difference in the way I think. I'm really very happy that I did the festival.